Men prides are mostly wonderful things, hey? Until you get a smack on the head when you want to play. I'm very softly and very subtly going to be making some noise in the car. I'm not in any way getting my camera out, not at all. It's not happening. And I'm definitely not going to take the odd photo. Obviously, I mean, I would never do that. Thanks, yeah, no, I like to think I'm pretty subtle. Whoops, sorry, head in shot. Probably gonna smack me later, but anyway. I will try and get an ID on the mail. I think that it is the Inkuhuma male with a nick out of his ear. There he is, see there's a cub. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, there's definitely six cubs. I'm not going mad. Um, somewhat pathetic, uh, sort of um, lazy, m late millennial Z generationers. Isn't that what we call the generation after the millennials? I think we call them Z generation, don't we? And then you have the other side of the sort of divide uh, who tells us we're being very nasty and that um, rather the evoker males are magnificent male lions who have... Uh... I'm just trying to interpret what's going on here. We've got five, eight, we just, nine adult lions and I think... I think they're there are purple eyes cubs. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Look, there they are, the newest ones. The tiny little things. They're coming to say hello to the pride. Let me sneak forward. That is very sweet. We'll just have a long distance view here of the whole interaction, and then I'll try and drive around and get a bit closer. Exciting. Look at that pile of lions. Right, so we don't have six cubs here, we've got nine. Yes, Dennis, it's made my day too. Not only your day has been made by this. Isn't that special? Now oh, she's going to go straight past us. Hello, my dear. Here's a very little one. Now seven weeks old, plus minus. special indeed. And like I say, I, I do, do excuse the sound of tornado. The reason we've got that sound is that we've set the microscope up, Marcel set the microscope up on the car, so we can now use it on the vehicle. But it's gone through a piece of equipment that, while he was doing the tests, obviously was relatively silent. It is now objecting to the heat of the afternoon. Oh, this is pretty. 
precious. It's called a hot hug. There's the mail. As far as I'm aware, yes, walking past. You can see he's a male. Now, this is very interesting because I don't know where he's come from. I don't know where. I really have no idea where he's been. But remember that he is totally unrelated to the evokers or, well, and therefore only semi-related to these cubs. And therefore, in theory, might pose some sort of a threat. But I guess he is semi-related. He's an uncle. This is very sweet. Just quickly go to the male there, Owen. There's a quite a sweet interaction going on. But he's not showing any irritation whatsoever with them. He's rather enjoying their company. That's one of the very little ones there. That's one of purple eyes. Right, something almost as adorable as a lion cub, but not quite. Is that dwarf mongoose? And Tristan has one of those. Fix these ones yet. I don't think we have. Let's see. Looks like a little male. Yeah, that's a male. And two males. Two little males. Two little Simbas. Yes, what a big boy.
Yeah, I think the pride looks healthy, Barbara. You say they all look pretty healthy. I would agree with you. These cubs are very sweet. Um, Emma, if you want to do an unscheduled, we can. I think they're going to move now. But we can do it if you want to do it. So at the moment, we've got eight adult lionesses here. One sub-adult male. Well, I mean, he's an adult. He's about three. And then these nine cubs. Three of them are seven weeks old. I think, if I'm not mistaken, we've got four that are roughly ten weeks old now. And then another two that are almost three months old. No, they're more than that now. They're about four and a half months old. Marie, yes, lion mothers are very protective, as are most mammal mothers, but lions specifically because they have the tools to be protective with, big teeth and claws and vicious growling, and so yes, they're tremendously protective. And it's a pretty hot afternoon out here, it's about 31 degrees Celsius, but the pride's been moving around quite a lot, which is unusual. You'd expect them to be flat out and fast asleep. And I wonder if they're not moving because the cubs are irritating the lionesses. No, Safari, they're certainly not all purple eyes cubs. Lion can have apparently up to six cubs. I've never seen that. The most I've seen is four. And one of the lionesses here does have four. That's Amber Eyes. And then another one has two. And Purple Eye has three. And poor old Purple Eye seems to be doing the bulk of the babysitting on this rather hot afternoon. Spectacular. Look at all those lions. Great pile of them. And often the best part of these lions is the noises they make. Little whines and growls and hisses and shouts at each other. Yes, again, it is acuteness overload, but that is to be expected with lion cubs. They are, in my opinion, the cutest animals in nature. I don't think there's anything cuter. Many would disagree with me, but I think they're just magnificent. And poor old Purple Eyes being extremely patient. Climbing around there now is the one that's been trying and whining and making a wretched noise, but failing dismally to get a, a look in. Up and down, climbing all over Purple Eye despite her growls of protestation. trying to negotiate her way to a nipple by licking her cousin. Purple Eye's gonna lose her temper now because there's a bigger cup coming towards her as well. And if the bigger one tries, it almost, well, more than four months. Yeah. That's how Purple Eye looked when Herbie and I found her den. He didn't hang around like this brave cub, though. Ooh, we're gonna get... No, 
nasty smack, this big one, if she tries. He tries, sorry. You know he's a he. <laughs> the little male that just walked up and nearly got his head bitten off is now sort of moving slightly closer by pretending to play with the his young cousins. There we go. She's still warning him. Now he's pretending to go back to sleep again. There's no ways that's what his genuine intentions are. There he tries. Look at him, muscling his way in, and he's managed to do it. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. What a very naughty fellow. Yes, because it is extremely cool. The microscope, I mean. The lions are pretty cool, too. Now, that little one, the tiny little one, has finished having its drink. His drink. I think they're three males, you know that. Now remember, of course, that these males, two bigger ones, um, so the three males, aren't there? Three males and then of the little ones, there are at least another two. I mean, there's a potentially a coalition of six male lions going to come out of the Unkahuma pride. And if they're rather sort of... Um, scraggly looking underdeveloped brother hangs about it could be seven. Oh, what you are too cute just finished my milkshake and now i'm going to have a little snooze in the grass perfect sunlight not too hot oh so tiring no school to go to because it's saturday So sleepy. <laughs> Mother of the day. Yeah, I film just coming on Gory Pan Road. Amazing how, oh, now there is trouble. And despite the growling and the teeth and the shouting, they don't try, or they don't stop. Yeah, I firm. course, these little ones that are now four and a half months old have got enormous, well, not enormous, but they've got quite nasty little teeth on them. I think the milk bar is probably empty. relentless suckling and this light really is spectacular I mean look at that that is just something else and still poor old purple eyes doing the bulk of the mothering amber eyes gave everyone a hiding Okay, everyone, we're going to move out of here. The other vehicle, which is also a photographic vehicle, doesn't have any view of the lions in the sun. We've had an amazing afternoon, so we're going to move out.